Hey guys, it's May May, and these cards were my samples from the reveal that you would have seen yesterday, and I decided to film my process and share it with you guys. So this video is going to be the process of all three of these cards, so I hope you enjoy. So this first card is paper piecing. That is the technique we're going to do here. And if you've never paper pieced before, it's pretty much coloring with paper. So notice I'm stamping the same image multiple times on different colors of paper. And then we're going to cut different sections of the scooter out in different colors. So you really could mix all these together and make three scooters because you're going to, you know, you could have all these pieces cut out and mix them in different ways. For today's video, I'm just going to make the one. But you cut all of the little pieces apart, and I cut them just outside the black line. Um, I find that it goes back together better if I keep the line on the piece that I'm cutting. So that's another reason I only made one out of this, because I do cut the line away, and it can kind of change the shape on your other pieces when you put them together. But you can see here that I'm lining this guy up so I can see how it's going to work. Now, on the wheels, I just cut the centers out, and on that top piece where the rear view mirror and the handle was, you cut those away because this is where you're going to bring those back. So I'm going to stamp my image where I want it on my card base or on my card front and add all my extra little embellishments here. This is the little rack that holds all the cute little things that are on the stamp set, like this little basket here. And I also wanted to show you how I do the layered flowers on this. The layers um, of flowers here are three different layers. So you can use three colors of ink, and that's what I'm going to do here. They're super simple, and we even made them where they don't line up perfectly. There's a little bit of a space between them to give you a little bit of forgiveness when stamping. You'll see that when you play with it. So don't think you're going to get a perfect you know, leaf to petal ratio. There'll be a little gap between. So now let's start coloring with the paper that we cut out. So I just add glue to the different sections of our little moped and put our little puzzle pieces in together. I absolutely adore paper, paper piecing. It's been one of the, um, probably one of my favorite techniques since I started doing stamping. I just think it makes everything look so custom and so unique. And so it's one of my faves. So here you see, I'm just adding all the little pieces in. I did, by the way, um, slow this down a little bit for you to watch me do it. This one's not as fast as I have been doing, so you could actually see the process. So remember how I told you on the top piece where the rear view mirror and the handlebar is, I cut those away on my papered pieced section because once I place it in its spot on the stamp, the mirror and the handle come back. See how that happened? It's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about cutting those tiny little pieces out. You can see I even pulled out the quick stick for these tiny little places that have the papers that get pieced in there. I love that tool. It's perfect for paper piecing. One of my favorite things. I love to use it. So here I'm just putting some pink into the wheels, and I thought that set it off just perfect. I would totally drive this little moped. They'd see me coming, wouldn't they? I love it. All right, here I decide I want to color in the little platform, so I use my Illustrated Faith pen to do that. And I also decide that I want to paper piece that basket. I feel like it's just a little too bland for the rest of the card, so I stamp it on some paper. I want you to notice I stamped it on this huge piece of paper. Do not fret. I am a scrap user. You got, I don't know if everybody is, but that big old scrap will go right back into my scrap bin and I will pull it out and use that guy up. So here you see me fuzzing some purple tape. Um, I'm just laying it on a cloth and picking it up over and over. I did that so that it would soften up the adhesive and it wouldn't pull any of my card away when I remove it from the bottom of my card. Um, I'm just inking the edges too to kind of make it look a little antique and I love how that little dusty road turned out I thought it was super cute. All right, I'm adding the little smoke puffs, which are precious. Are you kidding me? Um, we don't want any carbon emissions by the way, but the look on a card is a lot different that doesn't mess with the environment It's just super cute to look at and then I added the sentiment scooting by with and on the other side a happy hello I thought this was super cute super cute um as always, the white pen has to come out. You know it does. You got to decorate and you got to get those little pops of white. So I colored in the little smoke puffs. I added stitches to the road and then I just went around my little moped and my little flowers and I just added white lines and dots anywhere I could find a spot to put them. I think, and it's hard to see them on camera, but in person, this little touch with the white makes everything pop. It just really does. So I love how that one turned out. Add a little foam. I'm going to pop it up on some um, of that blue cardstock, that the little gingham cardstock to bring out the basket. And now we're on to card number two, the scooting card. 
Okay, so this is actually Doza's birthday card. He turned 16 this weekend, and I know this is not a 16-year-old's card necessarily, but I thought it was cute, and I think he'll enjoy it. He really only wants what's inside anyway, right? So I stamped the scooter twice. The only reason I did that is because when I'm going to color, sometimes I'll go ahead and stamp the image twice in case I mess up, and then I don't have to stamp again. I did fine on this one, and I didn't have to. So I just, I can use that scooter for later, but I just pulled out my color pencils and just did some kind of red, white, and blue kind of colors. I really did not worry about my colors on this card because again, it's for Joseph. He does have a favorite color, but not, he's not like stuck on that color to where I have to use that color anytime I do anything for him. So I just thought I'm going to play with color and have a good time. So that's what I did here. Now for fussy cutting the scooter, I decided to bubble cut it. Y'all know that's what I call it. And that's just where I cut it where I leave a little offset. So I just cut around the scooter. Super easy. This guy is not hard to cut out at all. And so you end up with that little scooter. Now I'm throwing it back old school here, y'all. I'm tying a piece of Baker's twine to this pencil. And I'm going to hold it kind of in line with that bar of the scooter. And I wanted to get myself a curve. I didn't want a perfect circle. You could have used a die and cut out like with a circle, whatever, but I didn't want that. I'm trying to mimic like one of those half pipes that kids ride their skateboards on. And you know, they're not like a perfect circle. So that's why I did that. And I even made that pattern so I could use it for later. Now I'm just laying that pattern onto the paper I want to be the ramp. And I'm just going to trace it and cut it out. And then super easy, I'm going to lay it onto some sky blue cardstock. And that is how I lined that up. So now for more stamping. So here I stamp the cake and the little flag from the same stamp set. I'm going to do some paper piecing with them again in a few minutes. But for here what I'm doing is color my little cake with color pencils. Again, not worried about color, just playing with color. Wanted all the colors basically. And then I decide it needs a little fancy in. So I take out my Illustrated Faith pen again and I make some polka dots and some stripes and a little line through the middle of the top cake and dress that cake up just a little bit. I go ahead and color the flag because we are going to paper piece that in a few minutes. Now I fussy cut these pieces out and I don't bubble cut these because this is where we're going to paper piece. So back to our card and our ramp. I need to glue my little um, cake down to the scooter because I want it to stand on the bottom of the scooter. And here I'm going to take a pencil and mark where my ramp is so I know where my scooter goes. This is because we're going to do that paper piecing I talked about. I lay the scooter on my little ramp line and line up at the top of the cake and make a pencil mark so I know where to stamp the cake so that everything lines up, so everything will land up where it should be. Then I'm just going to stamp my little flag right there on top of my scooter so when I glue the scooter down, the flag is now there with the little flag arm, the candle is back, and I can paper piece that flag. So just like before, I don't have to worry about cutting out that little flagpole or that candle. I just bring them back that way. So I glue my little ramp down on some foam. And then I decide I want my candle to have some color. So what I do is I take my white pen and I put a white dot there and leave it alone and let it dry. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. So now we do a little more stamping. And decorating. I wanted to get some little stitch lines on this card. I think everything needs a stitch line. Y'all know me well enough to know that. Then I came back to that little dot when it was dry and touched it with a yellow marker and that way I could get the look of yellow on that blue paper. I also decided the white cardstock I used was a little bit um, too bright so I just took a light gray marker and colored the little bubble part that I cut to kind of knock that back a little bit. Added a little glitter. Yes, it's a boy card. He doesn't care. He will like it. It needed a little bit of glitter. A little sparkle. All right, putting that down onto my card front, and it's time to stamp the inside. So the outside says scooting by with, and the inside is going to say a wheelie heartfelt birthday wish. I love that. And a little more stitching. It needed some more white on the front just to bring the edge of the card to the middle. So that's what I did. I love how this little card turned out. I think it is super cute, and I think Joe will like it as well. So next thing, touch up everything with white pen. You know how it goes. All right, card number three, the wheelie cool card. I love this card. You are wheelie kind, it says. So I stamp this one for alcohol marker coloring. So basically, I want to make sure I'm using an ink here that won't smear with my alcohol markers. So I'm going to use my finesse ink, which is made for alcohol markers. But as you know, I've told you before, these ink pads are um, 
kind of sunk in in the middle. So I have to stamp with them multiple times. So I went to the Misty so I could get a good image. And I think I ended up stamping that like four times to get a good solid image. But I knew that would happen. So that's why I used the Misty for it. Now I'm just going to design my little um, scene here using all the stamps from the stamp set. Again, using that same ink because we're going to alcohol marker everything. Um, you saw me pointing to that card. We have hired a new graphic designer who's going to be taking Mandy's place. Mandy's going to go home and she's going to be homeschooling her daughter, which is a blessing for Mandy. We're going to miss her. But since then, we're training Sylvia. So I had Sylvia in the room with me today learning how to stamp. So that's why you saw me pointing to different things. So here's my little scene. I just stamped it all up. I did use regular um, pigment ink for the sentiment and the little road or the shadow underneath because I wasn't going to be alcohol marker coloring that. Now for coloring, y'all know I am no expert. I just pick up my markers and go. On this one, I just kind of did the red with a little dark outline around it. I had to have a red scooter. If I could do zebra print, I would have done zebra. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll challenge myself to do that because I think I need a little zebra scooter to get around town in. I'm going to turn on a little music, let you watch me color, and we'll get back together on my final steps. And here I decided to pull out my little ink brushes, my blending brushes from Nuvo, and using some Distress Ink, that's Tumble Glass, I just kind of lightly run over the whole thing to put a little sky in the background, and then I do the green for the grass. This is a cool way to get your background without having to mask off, because you're not really putting down a whole lot of color, just enough to be to make the point, right? The sky and the ground. Then I just foam it to a card base, and that is it. How cute is that card? Let's bring them all back in and look at them. So there you go. That's how they were done. Pretty easy, pretty fun. I'm in love with every one of these guys. <laughs> like seriously, wouldn't you drive the scooter with a little plaid? And also this red one, I need a red scooter, y'all. This turned out super cute. And I don't know if I said it in the video, I may have, but this is Joe's birthday card. So I thought that'd be fun to make him a little something. He used to like scooters and skateboards and things like that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this stamp set. It'll be linked below for you guys if you want to pick it up. And if you do make something using this stamp set or any of our products, please share it over on our customer gallery. We love to see what you guys are making. Uh, it's such an inspiration. And if you need inspiration, there are more than 2,000 posts there for you to get some ideas for using the stamps that you already have. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.